Okay, um, you should have watched the first video about arpeggios if you have never done these before. This is a little routine for beginners. It's a cross hand arpeggio, so it's not one of the difficult ones. You can do this when you first start playing piano, okay? Um, so I've already shown you guys the fingers and how to play the pattern, okay? We go all the way up on the left hand, all the way up on the right hand, over on that left hand, back down on the right hand, back down on the left hand, with a chord at the end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through all the white key arpeggios, okay, from C to A. Now we're also going to go up to B, but this is a tricky one and I only want you to attempt this one if, you're, if you've been doing this for a while, if you're a little bit more advanced. Otherwise, please only go from C to A. So I'm going to run through them and tell you the notes. Um, please write these down or print out the little worksheet that I give you that has the notes on it. You need to memorize these basically, okay? So C major is C, E, G. C minor is C, E flat, G. Same fingers. So did you see how I shifted that third finger down to the E flat? Major. For this one, we need to go up to D position. So shift your hand up by one note. I was in C and now I've just gone up to D position. For D major, we need to have our third finger on an F sharp. That's the black key up here above F, all right? So D major goes like this. So the three notes were D, F sharp, a for D major. Okay, the next one we're going to go to is D minor. So we drop that sharp to an F natural. That's the white key. Okay, and we're going to do that again. D, F, A. And that's sad a sound as D minor. Okay, so now we're going to go up to E major. So again, we shift up a position up to E. Okay, so we were on D. We're now in E. Okay, both hands. E major, of course, has a sharp in the major. So instead of G, we're going to move that third finger again to G sharp. We always use the same three fingers, one, three, and five, but we're just going to move it from G to G sharp. You'll see that all my other fingers stay in the same spot. That will make it easier for you. Don't sort of bring them off the keys. Just make sure they're all in the same spot. So E major, E, G sharp, B. Next one is going to be E minor. This is a sadder sounding one and we go from the sharp to the white key down to normal G. So E, G, B. Next one is F major, a happy sounding one. And we move up a position to F and we stay on the white keys for this one. F, A, C. Next one's going to sound a little sadder. This is F minor. We bring that third finger down to A flat. So instead of A, we're going to the black key next to A on the left. F, A flat, C. Next one, G major. We go up to G position and this is all on the white keys. D for G major. Okay, so you start to get used to these around about this point and you can start to get a little bit faster at them. So that's G major. The next one is G minor. It sounds a little bit sadder. You would see my third fingers. Only the third fingers ever move in these, these ones. Okay, so we go down from B to B flat. Okay, G, B flat, D. one a major is going to be a major okay and this is a c sharp and e so that third finger again from the a position where we move to up from g position that third finger moves to the c sharp on both hands a c sharp e one is an A minor so that third finger goes from the C sharp down to the C natural which is a white key all white keys for this one so A C E 
for A minor, okay? Um, I'm not going to go through B just yet, okay? If you're up to those ones and you haven't done the B arpeggios yet, that's fine, okay? I want you guys to work on that if I've told you to. If I've told you to go into B major and minor, then please do. Otherwise, stop there for now. Um, I just want to go through what this is going to teach you. So when you go through this pattern, it is going to teach you the sound of a major, which is happy, versus a minor, which is sad, okay? Each one of these white keys we've been through has the major and the minor, okay? So we go up to the next one, okay? Etc. Um, and that's just going to train your ears to learn the different sounds between major and minor. If you can memorize which notes you need for each sound, then that's going to really help in all of your musical studies that you um, do from now on. Um, but apart from that, it's just a little fun routine to play. So I'm going to go through all these easy white keys uh, up to A and show you what the pattern should look like in the end. Please practice these all in a row as much as you can. So you start on C major and I'll show you what it looks like when you should be practicing it in order, okay? <laughs> white key arpeggios in order you should practice them like that as much as you can it's a fun little pattern you can add the pedal in later if you if you're tall enough okay um, and you can just make that a lot of fun for yourself to practice if you've gotten up to this part of the video you are obviously up to the B arpeggios now these ones are a little trickier because unlike all the others they don't just have one black key in them they have two black keys so a B major is going to look like this B major arpeggio B mm. D sharp, F sharp, same fingers as before, and over the top to B. Of course we started in B position for this one, okay so I started in B position. The reason this one is so tricky is because you might have noticed that as soon as I went into that B position for the two black keys, I didn't twist my hands, that's a very bad thing to do, I went up the keys so forward on the keys I slid forwards and that's a very important position to keep but it's a little bit tricky if you've never done that before it takes some getting used to especially if you're not quite familiar with where your keys are yet so only do that one if you're really really good at all the others go up to your B major which you have to shift forward for do not twist your hands for that one you will hurt your wrists okay so you shift up the keys and that's B major with the two sharp keys the two black keys okay B minor we will drop that middle sharp key so we've got it currently, I hope you can see my hand there, we've got it on D sharp. We're going to drop it down to D natural to get a B minor, okay? So B, D, F sharp, B, D, F sharp, over to your top B, okay? And back down the way we came. Again, notice that I'm right up there inside the black key area. I'm not out here on the white bits for those B arpeggios. So please make sure you're in the correct position for those. Good luck, guys. Um, and I expect you to practice those all the way through, okay? When you do those, don't just pick and choose one or two or start at the beginning and forget the rest. Make sure you get all the way to the end so that you can improve your um, memorization of those arpeggios uh, as a little fun beginner routine.